So we're working on creating a true or false or multiple choice, whatever you want to do, uh, quiz game in PowerPoint. So far, we've set up a title slide. We have set up a couple of question slides. And then we've set up our correct and incorrect slides. And those both have uh, clip art on them. They have return buttons that take them back to whatever slide our students were just on. Uh, and they also have sound effects on the transitions. So we went up to transitions and we added an applause or a bomb sound effect to those. All right, now we're gonna come back to our question slides and we're gonna start making those work. So the first thing we need to do is insert some action buttons on these. We're gonna do the custom ones over here. And I'm doing this as a true or false quiz, but you could do yours as multiple choice. So you could ask a, a multiple choice question um, and then have it go to uh, your correct or incorrect slide, uh, depending on what they choose also. So we can make it work the same way, but let me show you how this works. So I've put in my action button and I'm going to now choose where it goes. So my question here is, let me check, red-eyed tree frogs are poisonous. Well, this is false, okay? So I'm here, I'm making my true button at the moment. So I'm gonna have this hyperlink to, and then I'm gonna choose the option that says slide dot dot dot, because I wanna choose which slide it goes to. Now, we decided that true would be the incorrect answer on this particular question, so that's the one I'm gonna choose. And then I'm gonna click OK, and OK again. Now I'm gonna type the word true on that button. All right, so I've made my true button for this question, and it links to the incorrect answer page. So now I'm gonna go in, insert, shapes, custom action button. I'm gonna make my false button now. And I'm gonna hyperlink it to slide dot 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 correct, because on this question, that's the correct answer. Click okay, click okay, type false on this one, and try to make them the same size. Now I'm also going to, just for fun, format this button and make it a different color so that it's a little more obvious, the dichotomy here between the true and the false. All right, now I'm gonna go to my next slide, my next question, and I'm gonna do the same thing. You could copy and paste your buttons from here over to here. Uh, the problem is that uh, in my case, I happened to make one question where false was the right answer and one question where true was the right answer. And I'd have to go through and re-design uh, the buttons, which is kind of a pain. So I'm just going to go ahead, insert, shapes, custom, draw it out, hyperlink to, slide, and in this case, correct, capuchin monkeys do live in the Amazon rainforest. Okay, okay, true. And then we'll do insert shapes, custom action button, draw it out, hyperlink to, slide, dot, 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 and that one is gonna be incorrect. Okay, okay false, and I'm going to change the color of the button. All right, now I could from now on copy and paste those buttons onto all of my other slides and it would work just fine. The last thing I'm going to do is insert a next button on each of these and just say, okay, let me take that, or let that take me to the next slide. And that'll allow my students to get from one question to the next. And I could copy and paste that one if I wanted. Now, when I play my game from the beginning, enter in, red-eyed tree frogs are poisonous, false. Woohoo, I got it right. And then I click next, capuchin monkeys live